Today, a historic unveiling of a new lunar vehicle at Space Center Houston. Ugochi Iloka checked it out in person for a first look. This is the new lunar terrain vehicle with some Texas razzle dazzle added to present to the crowd of space innovators. No, we're not going to fly seven foot longhorn horns to the moon, but we thought that'd be kind of fun today because this is a Texas rover. In April of this year, NASA awarded Intuitive Machines a contract to complete a lunar terrain vehicle, aka LTV services feasibility assessment, and this is the demo. The lunar terrain vehicle representing a significant milestone as we prepare for the return of humans to the moon. Former astronaut Jack Fisher is now the senior VP of production and operations. I, I used to be an astronaut. I, I fell in love with space uh, right here. Actually, I was across the street looking at the Saturn V when I was six years old. He wants others to tap into their inner science spark too and discover the wonderful world of space. Tomorrow, Space Center Houston celebrates National STEM Day and they are inviting families to come out and check out the LTV in person and learn all about how this will help with exploration on the moon. It increases our ability to explore because it gives us legs, right? So now we can go at 15 miles an hour. It doesn't sound that fast, but it's pretty fast when you're cruising around on the moon. On top of that, the LTV has a trailer two meters wide, a feature to detect hazards and a robotic arm in the back. There is a robot arm on the back, so the robot arm will be used when we're driving it autonomously uh, to be able to reach out, grab rocks, samples, put them into containers. It also has a built-in communication hub with radios and antennas for two astronauts to eventually control with a joystick and and drive on the moon. It is a stepping stone uh, to the future, right? So it's it's it gives us the ability to to um, refine our technologies, to learn our craft before these longer voyages to Mars and beyond. In a week, the crew plans to take the LTV to a testing environment similar to the moon in Arizona. Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News.